folks, how are you? Well, very exciting day today. Uh, we're with a very old and dear friend, Janet Knight, who is a very established artist down in Victoria and in Melbourne, and uh, wonderful, wonderful lady. We've been very close to each other since we uh, since we actually started filming her. So when was it? When did when when, when did we actually film you? Well, two thousand and twelve. Two thousand and twelve was it? <laughs> yeah, I know. Or at least we've been only going for two years. So. It was quite a while ago, and I was think I think it was only like one or two years after you began doing colour in your life. And um, and I remember the day you rocked up at my studio. Oh my god, I was just so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and now we've been going for God, how many? It's nearly twelve years. Yeah, wow. Uh, I've lost, I've lost a lot of hair since then. <laughs> oh yeah, I've lost. Yeah, I've changed. <laughs> I don't think so. Just a smidge. <laughs> so, and you've been, you were actually on the show twice. Yes, yes. Well, you know, I'm very fortunate that um, that. I was able to do the the show, you know, twice for you guys because I did enjoy I enjoyed the process so much that um, that you know I, I jumped at the at the chance to do to do it all over again, and it was great for me as well because the initial show, the first one, was all about landscapes um, because when I first started out, that's what I painted. I just painted landscapes, and I, I love my landscape work. Mm. But then the second show was all about my figurative work, which which I had started, and I had only been like working um, fi on figurative work for about a year before I went on to the show. So when I did do this, the second show, I was pretty much uh, a beginner. <laughs> you know, I was a beginner with my with my figurative work, and and it was all about trial and error. You know, so I tried lots of different little techniques and I just, you know, and when you guys put me on the show, it just made me um, study even more, you know, study the anatomy and that sort of thing of the figure. And I just love it now, Graham. I just love it. Like, as you can see, you know, as you can see, I'm in the process of painting a lot of nudes at the moment. Yeah. It's only because I love the entire process. You know, at the end of the day, I don't want to hold on to my work. I just like, I just love the process in between. So, so in saying that after doing the show twice, I mean, have you used the show to on promote a lot of what you're doing as far as the figurative work is concerned? Oh, absolutely. I, I think I think um, when it comes to the Colour in Your Life show, it sort of it introduced me to the world, which was what I really uh, I really desired at the time. And because at that time I wasn't uh, travelling teaching workshops overseas, so. So the Colour in Your Life show sort of opened um, opened up uh, my world to the rest of the world, and mm -hmm. and it was it was amazing because then I started getting contacts from people all over, and you know friend requests on on social media, and galleries were contacting me, and and you know important people like that all over the world, and it was just it was it was very wonderful wonderful experience you know for me. Oh, that's fantastic. So what about as you've gone along the journey now, I know you've gone to Italy and and obviously loved Italy because I was, I was watching as you were going through through Tuscany and I was like, oh, she's living the dream. Oh, my God. It was uh, just... So what, what sort of stories have come out of that, that, that journey that you've taken? Well, for, for one thing, like in 2019 when I, was in, when I was in Venice, I met a lovely man and we're still together, would you believe it? <laughs> So two years, two years on, and all this COVID in between, and, and we're still together. So it's um, it's quite a, it's quite a um, miracle. <laughs> but um, it's one amazing story. But there were so many stories, Graham. Like as soon as I started to travel, and 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 while I was overseas teaching in these exotic locations, mm. so you know, Malfi Coast, um, Lake Como, uh, California. I went to California in Half Moon Bay, which was amazing as well. So once I started promoting in these wonderful locations, um, the rest of the world um, kept inviting me to to go to different locations. You know, so I've been since then. I've been invited to Morocco. Canada um, yeah. and different different areas of um, America as well. So uh, as soon as as soon as we get set free, well, I I just want to jump. On a plane, <laughs> I'd totally be going back to Italy first off. If that's the case. Oh yes, it'll be Italy. Italy will be my first stop, 
and then then I, I sort of want to flow wherever it takes me really um yeah. I do know that I'd like to spend a lot of uh maybe half my year in in Italy and and then exhibit and um and do workshops all over from that from that base um in the summer part of the year and then actually come back here to Melbourne in the in the summer part of the year so yeah. I can fun a little bit yeah it's a great idea I mean that'd be the perfect lifestyle wouldn't it yeah oh it's, it's a perfect scenario all round Absolutely. yeah yeah. So, um, so all, all, all around, do you feel that we've actually helped you establish your business a lot more? Oh, absolutely. I think as far as, uh, you know, I mean, you know, an artist existence, we sit in the studio and we're, we're in our little bubble for most mm. of the time. And to get that exposure all over the world is, is amazing. So like even locally here, I ended up with um, full, full classes after after my after my shows and I've actually sold a lot of artwork all over Australia as well. I have uh, a lot of my artwork in the Prayan Gallery mm -hmm. down here in Melbourne. So um, I sell quite a bit of artwork from there as well. So I wanted to tell you another story uh, as well. So in 2000 and I think it was 2019, I just arrived home from Europe mm -hmm. uh, teaching a workshop. I was contacted by a French man uh, via Messenger, and he was he was one of my Facebook friends, but I didn't really know him. You know, we have thousands of Facebook friends, mm -hmm. um, and he he showed me he showed me this. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> well, he showed me this, and I and I actually thought I actually thought that it was something that was photoshopped. To say you didn't know about this. I didn't know about this. I mean, this went. This this was um, published in July two thousand and nineteen. No, yeah. yeah, April. Sorry, April May two thousand nineteen. And I didn't know about it until till like July. And he sent me this, and he said, you know, and and it was all in all in French. It was just. <laughs> and I said to him, "Is this for real?" And he said, "He said yes. It's um." It's for real, you know, it's really for real. And I was like, what? <laughs> and he said to me, it's not in the stores anymore, so, but I'll see if I can find you a copy. So he found this copy for me and sent it to me. Wow, that's amazing. Such a, such a beautiful person. And inside I had like two centre page, two centre page spreads. I was just so excited about this. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Well done. And I was like, yes, oh, sure. <laughs> lots of beautiful things are happening, and I didn't, you know, and and lots of people know me. So the thing is, too, lots of people know me, but I don't know them. That happened. And, that happened yeah, but, on TV. <laughs> I know, and this was just such a beautiful thing that happened, That's as well as as well as this one. This one is is all about. All right. Know, Oh, and that's when you're at in the, um, doing your, doing your tours. Yeah, that's doing my doing my tours. So in 2019, um, this this man here, Richard, he came along. He's a writer and an artist, and he came along on my workshop in Tuscany. And yeah, so he wrote a beautiful story about Italy and the very classy workshops that take place. And and there I am, there painting away here. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, so this is for Luxury Travel and Style magazine here in, in Melbourne, here in Australia. Well, I mean, it's so, from, a, from a lady that was, that was sort of uh, just sitting in her studio in Melbourne to getting on the front <laughs> covers of magazines all over the world. That's pretty cool. <laughs> a couple of really beautiful things, yeah, have happened. happened. Um, and it's just, it's, it's just I, I think it's, it's very magical when you just get a surprise, you know, when these things happen. Oh, I just, yeah, I just, I just love it. So I've also been invited to teach in, in France, in Provence, um, and that was just before COVID hit, and so I missed out on that workshop. So right. hopefully, fingers crossed, that that one starts up again. That would be I'm amazing. Sure. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will so. That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, so lots of really amazing things have happened. I remember when I was in California, I was teaching my workshop out at the at the lighthouse. I think it's Pigeon Point Lighthouse in yeah. 
yeah. in Half Moon Bay. And oh, hey, I'm just, I've got a mate that just lives just down the road. That's where I stay when I go to California. Oh, it's just a, such a beautiful area. It's well, I was, I was teaching the, the students out on the, on the hill near the lighthouse and okay. lady, she came racing over to me and, and she gave me a big hug and she goes, oh my God, Janet, you know, I couldn't believe it was you when I saw you. She said, I've been following you for years. And it's like, I love that. Like, you know, there <laughs> I am in California and this lady comes racing <laughs> up to me. It was just so beautiful. You've achieved some great things in, in your life and I think that you'll continue to do so. You're an amazing, amazing lady and we've become great friends with, you, with each other over the years. And I hope we do some more things. You're actually part of our new tutorial that's coming out as well pretty soon. And you're doing yes, so exciting for me just to yeah. talk about um, my Zoom classes, which I hold I hold every week here in Melbourne. Um, but I'm teaching people on you know all over the world. I've had I've had people from uh, Iceland, uh, from uh, New Me New Mexico, and yeah. and New York yeah. joining my classes. So that's so exciting for me just to speak to someone on the other side of the world. And, uh, and to teach them a few things, you know, it's just, it's very exciting. <laughs> it's just wonderful to talk to you, it absolutely is. And, uh, oh, yeah. thank you so much for coming to my studio, Graham. I'm, I'm, I was just so excited to do this this morning. Great, great to talk to you, honey, and uh, I wish you all the best and we'll be watching anyway. Oh, great, Graham. Thank you so much for today. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Thank you, sweetheart.